Tesla is going downhill. So first of all, I don't want to come off as a Tesla hater or any of that. I actually do have a deposit for a Cybertruck for when it gets released, uh, if it ever gets released. But I have seen a trend with pricing. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of research and I found some websites where Model 3 sold for about 40 something thousand dollars four months ago. And now we can find them for 30 something thousand, 20 something thousand. That's about $10,000 in difference. And in a few months, I think that's a lot like a quarter of the price of the car just going down it's definitely going to be making a difference obviously there's many factors that people are saying this are contributed to but i feel like there's three major things and the first major thing that i think kind of contributes to this whole situation is that tesla is no longer just the only electric company obviously there's been many other brands but this time they're kind of really competing with tesla let's say for example if you have a ford f-150 and you want a truck it's going to be harder to go for a cyber truck than to go for an f-150 lighting which is the electric version of the regular f-150 so you know you're more used to the brand and all that stuff instead of just entering into a kind of new brand that you don't really know about and also it doesn't really help let's say if you look at a 2012 tesla model s it looks a certain way right but then if you look at a 2023 tesla model s it looks really similar so in about 10 years 11 years they haven't really made any huge changes and i feel like yes the fan base like that model so that's why they keep making them but to other people that are coming from a different type of car they're gonna see the same cars and i just feel like they have to start making some changes because they all look the same in a way sort of my biggest issue with this has been the cyber truck because i was excited for the cyber truck it's been a few years that it was supposed to be made and yeah it hasn't been made yeah the pandemic happened and a bunch of stuff and it all added to it i'm pretty sure but i just feel like it's not just that there's been a lot of like false promises and stuff like that and people are starting to notice this so i feel like many people are trying to stay away from those false promises and they just go somewhere where their demands are being fulfilled and i feel like other companies have also improved their technology I don't know if you remember like back in the day when Tesla came out it was a lot of people talked about the huge screen it was a big deal because you know no the car had it and now you can see cars with the same thing it's not a big deal anymore and other things like the autopilot you know different things and it just seems like it's no longer as special I do have to point out that Tesla still has like the fastest fast charging so kudos on that they still haven't caught up to that but some of the other things have just not been as special anymore the second thing I do want to point out is the politics with Tesla we know that Tesla and Elon Musk are pretty much linked together. Anything bad that Elon Musk does will affect his company. When it gets to politics, it's either one or the other. So it's kind of one of those things that it's a 50% chance that the person that buys your cars likes your opinion or they don't. And I feel like in the general sense, people that want to switch to electric to contribute to the planet or, you know, it's not necessarily that, but I feel like if some people want to make a change or just want to get rid of gas cars and stuff like that, for the most part, they're going to be more linked towards the left in politics. And as we know, his more on the conservative side at least what it shows right now and uh saying certain comments and stuff like that might just make those people that are fans and when he mentions that they just make him not be as as loyal to the brand or to elon musk himself for me it's not a big deal but some people might take it really serious and yeah it's just one of those things that i feel like it's really contributing to changing people's minds you know i just feel like before this whole twitter thing we didn't really see that we mostly saw you know elon musk as this smart guy that did this did that and now there's a lot of controversies and he's no longer seen as this like idol that many people wanted to be at least that's what i think and last thing i have to say that i think has contributed to this whole thing is that just simply the interest rates just like housing since they go up there's less demand because people don't want to get it and too much debt they can no longer afford payments and tesla is one of those cars that i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't just pay off cash it's more of a tool that you use to commute it's a piece of technology a lot of people don't see it just a car you know there's a lot of things that go inside that car and for the most part i feel like it's younger people since they're attracted to the technology and stuff like that and in the older side it seems like more people are attracted to just going to the car and commuting that's it. So most of the people that buy Teslas, they're in the younger side because they have to learn how to use the screen and some older people might not know. And yeah, for the most part, younger people don't make as much money as older people. And when this whole financing thing, it just seems like people might want to stay away from a huge loan and the money part of it. And interest has been one of the biggest contributions in terms of people not being able to afford the car. So that's what I think. I think that's why Tesla is going to go down. I don't think it's going to go in bankrupt or any of that. I do feel just if you want to get a chance to get a cheaper Tesla, this is going to be the chance. Just be on the look 
out, prices are definitely going down. I've seen the older Model S going as low as $19,000. So if you want to catch an, an older Tesla, maybe a Model S that gives you limited charging, you could just take advantage of this whole thing that's happening. Uh, we do also see a trend with Tesla's prices going down in used and new cars. So we did see a few days ago that Tesla announced that they were going to be lowering prices. So this is definitely happening for a reason. But that's pretty much it. I wanted to share with you guys. That's what I saw. So if you want to get a Tesla, go for it. And yeah, just make sure to have your finances checked out before you get in debt. And meanwhile, I'm just going to wait here until the Cybertruck gets made. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens.